everyone, my name is Emma and it's so weird because this is my first YouTube video ever where I'm just gonna sit and show clothes and accessories and all the stuff I bought in June. I've had YouTube for a while and I grew up dancing my whole entire life. I had to stop over quarantine so I have plenty of dance videos on here and now I'm switching over to this. I guess. If you'd asked me three years ago if I would ever sit down and do a collective haul of everything I bought in June, I would probably think you're crazy. But here I am. I've wanted to start a YouTube for as long as I can remember. I remember when I was 12, I had like an iPad mini when they had just come out. And I filmed a YouTube video, like an intro to my page, but that never, never took it seriously. Quality was awful, did not have equipment to do anything. When I was in high school, I really, really wanted to start seriously making YouTube videos and stuff, like vlogs, whatever, but I was so nervous that the people I went to school with would see it or talk about me. I was just so terrified of being judged, so I never actually did it, but I've been posting a lot of TikToks recently and kind of posting whatever I want, and it really, sometimes I hate the fact knowing that random people I know from school see that stuff. It makes me cringe so bad because they're probably like, Emma, what are you doing? But I'm 21 years old now and I'm to the point where I'm like, whatever. If people are gonna judge me or make fun of me or talk about me, what freaking ever. It's something I wanna do, so I might as well do it. I've already had to completely change my life when I had to stop dance, so might as well just do whatever I want now. Today is just going to be a June collective haul, everything I bought in June because I bought a lot of stuff for no real reason. I kind of wanted to rebuild my wardrobe and also I just got a little carried away. I wanted to post this in the beginning of July but then life just got super crazy out of nowhere. I did not have time to sit and film and edit and figure out what I wanted to do for a video. Even though it's halfway through July, whatever, I'm going to jump right into my June collective haul. So the first store I'm going to start with today is Zara. She's one of my favorite stores ever. I got a decent amount from Zara in June. I love Zara so much. I shop there all the time. They literally rob my freaking bank account. It's crazy how much money I spend there. I didn't get too, too much of them in June though. I do have to say I tried to cut back a little bit. I know on Zara online, sometimes it's hard to find, like it's hard to scroll through their website sometimes. So I feel like it can get a little convoluted. I feel like it's gotten a little bit easier lately. When I post the try on clips, I will put the codes for the items and then also the name of them. So it's easy to find if you want to go online and get it. So first I just got this little red high leg bodysuit. It looks so funny when I don't have it on. Like it actually looks ridiculous, but I swear it's so cute on. And it's just a little ribbed red material. I think you can dress it up with jeans and a bag, or you can just throw it on with some jean shorts, casual little summer outfit. Next is just some mom jeans from Zara. A lot of their jeans are really long on me actually. I'm only 5'5", five five, so I don't feel like, I don't feel like 5'5 five is really short, but their mom jeans were the perfect length on me. They go right to my ankles. They're not too long. I have a few flare jeans from them. They drag on the floor. But these are just a super cute little light wash distressed mom jean. Probably my new favorite pair of jeans. Then I have these little pink shorts from Zara. I love them so much. I love how they're not a solid pink and they're more of like, I wouldn't say acid wash because they're not acid wash, but I don't even know what to call it, but it's just like different tones of pink. It's not just one solid, and I love that. The only issue is I used to get all my jean shorts from Zara in a size 2, but I always have to wash them and dry them a lot to get them to shrink. I got these and my next pair of jean shorts in a size 0. They're not too small, but they are the perfect fit. Like, I could not go somewhere where I'm eating a big meal that day. The next pair of jean shorts I got are just these normal, I would say like medium wash denim shorts. And then they just have a little slit on the leg. I think they're super cute. The only thing that threw me off though is when I ordered them, I didn't know they were like button up shorts, which I mean, it's fine. My nails are short right now. When I have them longer, it's so hard with button up jeans because I just can't get my nails. I always have to have like my friends or my boyfriend button my shorts for me. My nails are too long. But these are the perfect length, perfect fit, 
super casual, super easy. Next, I've got this jumpsuit from Zara. It's another ribbed fabric and it's just navy and white stripes. A girl on TikTok in one of her hauls had it in tan and I thought it was super cute the way it fit on her. Online they had black and then the stripes and I thought the stripes were cute. Kind of gives me like navy sailor vibes. It's super comfy too. I love it so much. I honestly feel like I could wear these as PJs because they're so comfortable. When I was in store, I picked up a pair of these white lounge shorts, just another ribbed material. I don't know what it is, but something about Zara's ribbed fabric is just so amazing. Like I own so many things from Zara that are ribbed. For example, this green top I bought with the shorts, ribbed racerback, but ribbed, super cute. And I've been pairing these two together when I wear them. I feel like they're just a comfy little lounge set even though it's not a lounge set but it's comfy when i'm just cleaning or running errands and i am a sucker for comfy clothes proof i'm a sucker for comfy clothes i have another little set from zara i actually ordered this from someone off of instagram she was she made like an account where she was selling her clothes and i've been looking for a set like this on zara but they never had my size in stocks so when i saw that she was selling it i was like oh my god i need it so it's just these little shorts, they're like shorty shorts. And then the matching top. I think it's so cute, so summery. I could wear this in summer and spring next year. I feel like this is one of the pieces I will never get rid of because I have a bad habit of just selling a lot of my clothes. Zara had their sale in June, so I made sure to pick up a few things. First thing is just this little knit kind of halter top. Super casual. I thought it would be cute to wear to the beach or just, you know, running errands. My issue is I love comfy clothes and I love simple outfits, which is hard because I want to try and branch out from that and do new things and spice up my style a little more. But I'm just so stuck in the fact that comfy clothes, you can make comfy clothes look like a good outfit if you really try. And that is what's embedded in my mind right now. So I need to snap out of that because half of my clothes are just comfy shorts, comfy tanks, matching sets, whatever. Also from the sale, I got this little pink floral top. And online, they had these bright pink pants. They kind of feel like track pants. They, I thought they were super cute. They have pockets on the side and a slit on the bottom of the leg. But you'll see in the try-on, they are just super big on me. Like, abnormally big for no reason. And they're a size small, which I normally wear a size small in their pants and stuff. So I don't know where it went wrong with that, but I thought it would be so cute to pair these pants with that pink top for a picture. And I just can't do that. Then I got another jumpsuit. This is like a tan oatmeal-y kind of color and it just ties around your neck. My first jumpsuit I got, the navy and white stripes, I originally was gonna get this one with it as well, but I was afraid of how it would look on. And then Emma McDonald, I actually saw on her YouTube video, she had a Zara haul and she had this in her haul and it justified me buying it. I saw how good it looked on her and I was like, okay, I kind of need it. It is a little see-through though, um, I think just because it's tan, but it's a comfy ribbed material. I love it so much. You can dress it up with a leather jacket in fall or a cute varsity jacket or you can just wear it plain. Okay, that's it from Zara. Now I'm going to move on to Urban Outfitters. I just got a few things from there and shocker, they're more comfy clothes. So let me show you. I probably own like 30 bralettes because a lot of my shirts I don't even wear bras with because I don't, I don't have much. And it's hard to find bras that like fit me the right way. So I just don't even waste the money on them because they're like 50, 60, 70 dollars. So from Urban, I picked up this bralette. And this one is just the Out From Under Riptide Seamless Ribbed Bralette. This is the dark gray color. This bralette I'm wearing right now actually with this outfit is the same exact style bralette just in lavender. I bought one in white a while ago and I loved it so much I just wanted to get more colors. And what a surprise, we have another ribbed top. I just love Urban Outfitters out from under collection. It's so amazing. I have this tank top in four other colors, so I figured why not just get this one too because I like the color. The color of this one is Red Berry. I don't know the name of the tank top off the top of my head. I'll just insert it in the try-on here. Super comfy. I love it to lounge around in. 
Then I've got another bralette. This one is another Out From Under Collection bralette, and I just thought, I literally had just bought in this purple one, I didn't need another purple one, but I just thought it was cute how it had the Out From Under on it. Yeah, I like to sleep in bralettes too sometimes. I either sleep in big t-shirts, matching PJ sets, or bralettes, no in between. That's another reason why I own so many bralettes. When I was in the store, I saw this little set. I have just these yellow shorts and then the matching little polo for it. Another thing I've been obsessed with is terry cloth. I think it's so comfy, so cute for summer. Like I honestly feel like over the year, it's become such a summer trend to own anything that's terry cloth. Also, I don't really own anything yellow. I used to be blonde for so long and I hated how yellow looked on me when I was blonde. And now that I'm brunette, I actually really love how yellow looks on me. Then I just got a few things from Princess Polly, nothing really too crazy. I just got these pair of tan shorts, which I had another sizing issue with these. I ordered a size two, I thought that would be my size and they were just a little too big but they're easy to kind of shrink down in the wash and also I just tie them in the back with a shoelace. But I love the neutrals. I'm trying to add more neutrals into my wardrobe because I have so many colors. Speaking of neutrals, I got this bag from Princess Polly, just a tan one. I have black bags, white bags, pink bags, green bags, but I didn't have a tan one. And like I said, since I'm trying to add more neutrals into my closet, I figured this would be a good staple. Then I just got these black platform sandals. I love them so much. Like I was saying with the Zara jeans, how most of them are too long on me. I love shoes that are platform, whether it's sneakers, sandals, because I do have a lot of long jeans and these make it so I can wear them without the bottom of my jeans just scraping on the floor. So these are perfect for that. This next little boutique I found on Instagram and they are now hands down one of my favorite online stores to order from. Got this Coconut Girl Lacy Tank. When I first got it, I overwore this top. Like, I would wear it every single day, every dinner, anytime I was going with friends, getting coffee. It's so cute, so simple, and the flowers on it are just gorgeous. Also from Unruly Boutique, I just got this little pink tank top that ties in the front with flowers. I originally wasn't gonna buy it because I have so much floral, but the name of the tank was the Emma Rose tank, and my name's Emma, so, to justify buying it, I was like, well, part of my name's in it, so might as well just add it to my cart. Another little online boutique I found on Instagram is called Dusted Rose, and I just got two tops from them. Okay, this top, I'm just gonna have to put it on to show you because I, I, don't, I don't know how to hold it up and show you guys. But it's a ribbed tank top. I love all the cutouts. I feel like it's super flattering. This is one of those tops where I feel like you could very easily dress it up, but also dress it down and keep it casual. And those are my favorite types of tops to buy. I also got this little swing tank top and it'll look better when I do the try on. But I think it's super cute. You can adjust the little scrunchy parts of the swing to either make it more closed or open it up. Once again, it's just another neutral and it's super comfy. The fabric is very nice. I've been wearing this top a lot too on like dates with my boyfriend. He sees me in the same four shirts and that's okay. I do not care. I had a few separate orders from Shein, so I'm just going to jump into all of that right now. I only got a few clothing items, mostly bikinis and then just cheapy little accessories that I could wear to the beach or the pool and I don't have to worry about them getting ruined. I'll do the clothing first. I just got this little purple rib like ruched in the front dress with the buttons. It's honestly so flattering and it fits me so well. I was not expecting a dress from Shein to fit me as good as this one did because I've never ordered a dress from them before. Then I got this green like knit open back top. It's super breathable for summer even though it is knit and I love the way knit tops look but living in Florida sometimes the thick knitted fabric is just way too hot and this one is amazing. This top when I have my self tanner on I, I look like a little ball of freaking fire. It makes me look so much tanner when I have myself tanner on. I'm terrible at keeping up with going out and tanning in the summer, partly because in Florida, summer is also hurricane season. So a lot of times throughout the day, it'll be super sunny, then just start pouring rains. But I love that top. Then I just got four skirts. I got them for golf because my boyfriend and I have been golfing a lot lately. And I know they are not the correct golf skirts. Do not, if anyone sees this and is a golfer or plays golf, whatever, do not come for me. We go to 
not the best golf courses, so I think it's okay. Like, you could show up to those golf courses in leggings. Like, they would care, but they wouldn't really care. So I just got these skirts. They fit pretty well, I can't complain. They were obviously very affordable. I just have it in black, and then I got a little white one. I thought the maroon one would be cute for if we go golfing in the fall. And then I just got this little dark teal one. Then I've got this little black wrap top. Can't hold it up because I have to tie it. I love wrap tops like this for when I'm going out at school with my friends. I think it's just so cute for the bars and clubs and whatnot. I have so many different types of wrap tops from so many different stores. I've never had a sarong before, so I just ordered one when I was on Shein to try it on, see what it looked like. I actually really, really love it. It's just a nice little simple cover up. For bikini try-on purposes, I don't really know what YouTube's guidelines are. Like, I'm 21, so I should be fine, but on TikTok, my videos always get taken down when I'm showing too much like skin in bikini hauls and whatever. So I'm just gonna leave the sarong on when I try in the bikinis. The first bikini, I just got this little floral and then purple leopard print set. I think it's super cute. I've been buying tie side bikinis for so long now, so it's weird when I'm wearing a bikini that's not tie side, but this one is still a fan favorite. Something about floral bikinis, I just can't stay away from them. I don't know why, I don't know if it's summer so my mind thinks of flowers and colors and whatever but i just have this other little floral bikini it has a bunch of different colors on it i think it's super cute i love the triangle bikinis because you can tie them so many different ways then i just got this one it's kind of bright pink yellow and more flowers on it i feel like so many people on tiktok i've seen get this bikini from shein and i just thought it was too cute for me not to get for myself then I got this bikini. I did not think it would actually be this bright when I received it, but it's still really cute. I feel like if I'm super, super tan, it'll look amazing. I have this bikini actually in black and I just ordered it in this pink because I knew I liked the way it fit. The bottoms, they are very small in this bikini, but I like to tan in my black one. So I just got another pink one to tan in. I put all my accessories from Shein in this bag and I don't wanna hold up each and every single individual one. So I'm just gonna lay them out for you guys and show you there. Shein actually has really good claw clips. They're pretty great quality for how cheap they are. So I just got a pack of colored ones and then a cute little marbly looking one. And then just beaded necklaces, just cheap ones to wear out by the pool in the ocean. I did get some rings from them just to try because I've seen so many people order their rings and wear them, but I honestly do not like them. Next from Paxton, I just got a few things. I first got these 90s, yeah, I think they're like the 90s boyfriend jean fit in like a medium, like a medium indigo. I don't know, why is it so hard for me to think of the name of these? I'll just check on the thing, whatever. I'll put it in a try on, but I love them. They are a little big on me though. I always have the worst sizing with pants and bottoms. I do really like the color, they are long though, so I do have to wear platform shoes with them. I have a lack of jeans in my closet, so I'm trying to buy more. From the brandy section in PacSun, I just got a little ribbed tank top to lounge around and chill in. Super comfy, I really love brandy's tank tops. Do I think they need to be like $15, $16? No but I still buy them anyway, just because they actually last me a really long time. Then I just got this little brown tee and on the front it says your call. I really like the bubble letters on it. That's honestly, no, I'm not even gonna say that's on, that is why I bought it, just because I like the way the letters looked. But I thought it was another cute top to add to my comfy clothes collection. Last thing from PacSun, I just got this pink, green, and white, like, I would, would you call it plaid? I guess kind of plaid. Super stretchy, I love it a lot, and I obviously love pink bikinis. Okay, this is the last bikini, I swear. I buy so many bikinis every summer for no reason, really, because I don't even actually tan in half of them, I just take pictures in them. But I got this sparkly little leopard bikini from Windsor, and I just think it is the absolute cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. While I'm trying this on, I just want to show you guys this little chain I got. I got it off of Amazon and it's actually listed in my storefront. I'll put a link down below because I have so many cute things down there. I think it's the most perfect little summer accessory just to have a little chain on with your bikini. I feel like it makes you look like you're living luxury or something when you're really just at the pool with your friends. If you don't like blood, I'm so sorry for this, but I just, I got my nails done the other day and he kind of cut my pinky and my thumb but I just like made my thumb bleed again and it hurts so bad. 
back to the haul. I think I'm almost done. I should be. I made a list of everything. I told you it was a lot, like just a lot of random stuff, but I'm almost done. Okay, so Delaney Childs is one of my, probably one of my favorite people I follow on Instagram and TikTok. I love her so much. And she had launched, released, created a company of her own called Shop Boyd. And for her first drop, I saw the sets she had and just the pieces and whatever. And me being me, I'm a sucker for matching sets, especially ones you can lounge around in. So what did I do? I went onto her website and I ordered one. But it is the comfiest thing I've ever bought. And it's honestly super lightweight too. I feel like I could wear this in summer and fall and spring. It might be a little too thin for winter if I'm being honest, but I could maybe layer it. But it just comes with the matching shorts and the shorts are already like pre-rolled. They're made that way. So it makes my life so much easier. And I love how the shorts aren't super shorty shorts. A lot of my lounge clothes are like that. And these I could wear around family and feel like I'm not exposing myself. Another little brand on Instagram I found is called Cut and Cropped and she has a bunch of cute jewelry and I've really been into buying a lot of rings and necklaces to accessorize my outfits a little bit better. One of the ones I'm actually wearing right now and it's just this little ring. I think it's super cute. Sorry if you can see my bloody thumb. But I love the little bubble rings. I think they're so cute and trendy right now. And then I also got this smiley face necklace. I love it so much. I wear it every day. I feel like it's perfect for summer. I just got a couple things from Target. One of them is actually the earrings I'm wearing right now. They're just a little twisted hoop. I think they're so cute. I love twisted hoops. I also got another pair of their big chunky hoops because I am not even lying. This is the eighth pair I've bought since last August, the eighth pair. Because my cat, I feel like I have to insert a clip or something. My cat loves gold hoops. I do not know why. She likes to play with them, run around with them. She wants me to throw for her every 20 seconds. I've lost so many earrings because of her. Luckily, these are kind of cheap though. They're eight bucks. They last pretty well. I love them. I wear them all the time. And Target has a lot of nickel-free options for earrings, which is amazing for me because I'm allergic to nickel, so I can't wear a lot of fake earrings. You know what I mean? Last thing I got was just these little lime green shorts. I have some like shades of pink lounge shorts from them. This is just from the Wild Fable collection. Speaking of lounge wear, from lounge underwear, I actually ordered a few things. First, I just got a little tank top. I liked how it said the word lounge on it. I honestly should have called this haul like June Collective haul, but lounge wear edition. I feel like that's really all I buy. I really, I have to stop doing that. It's honestly getting out of control. Also from Lounge, I just got this little bralette. It was a new collection they launched and I got the matching bottoms too, but it's super comfy, rib material, super lightweight. I wear it around all the time. This one's not clothing related, but I started working with Goalie in partnership in January. Whenever I run out and if I go a week without them, I notice such a difference. I have really bad acid reflux and I lack digestive enzymes and I just have so many stomach issues. I used to actually take apple cider vinegar, like the shots of it, and it was just I I could not but these I actually have a code for and I'll put it up here I do not work with brands or try things or share things that I truly don't use or like I swear by these if you haven't tried these they are so amazing to put an end to the video I'm just going to show a few of the PR packages I received or a few little partnership brand deals I had in June which I am so, so grateful for. When I was like 17, 18, I did small little like partnership things. And I always thought it was so fun working with brands. And then when Goalie reached out to me in January, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should start trying to work with brands again. And so far my journey has been amazing. I've had so many brands reach out to me and I have so many amazing upcoming. And I am just, I, I didn't think me starting with a bottle of gummies would lead to me getting even more stuff. I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it again. I'm just so grateful and I think it's so amazing. So Good Molecules had reached out to me. They are a skincare company. They wanted to send me a PR package. They sent me all these amazing products. I also was lucky enough for Pure Culture Beauty to reach out to me and what they are is a custom skincare brand. I love the serum. I honestly might order more. Then KSAP had reached out to me and wanted me to help promote their wild collection. I know my code for this has expired, otherwise I'd put it in here. But I love these cases so much. I think they're so cute and I love how you can customize them and they're honestly pretty affordable for a customizable case. I also worked with Tanologist and I think I have another PR package coming so I can share more tanning stuff. I am going to butcher this name. 
Gisu, Jisu. I've actually tried their hair mask before a long time ago and I really, really loved it. So then they sent over to me their honey infused hair oil and then their honey infused hair perfume. Okay, that was a lot. I did not, I wrote everything down that I wanted to share. Now, there's a few things I didn't even put in here because I feel like I've just been blabbing on and on and I'll have to see what it looks like when I go to edit it. But yeah, that is my June Collective haul. If you're watching this, thank you so much for watching. I think I wanna try and stick with YouTube. I love talking and I talk on 90% of my TikToks, but this is such a different thing for me. I'm used to being in front of the camera for dance and stuff, but talking and describing things, this is kind of a whole new world, like for long periods of time, not just a 30 second video. But I think if I work on it, I think this will be really fun and then I can make more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my June Collective haul. If you are watching this, I love you so much. And do I need to say, make sure you like and subscribe? Am I considered a YouTuber now? Do I say like and subscribe? I don't know. Okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs>